Hello and welcome to Module 2 of ESM 355, Understanding Environmental Sustainability. I hope that the first module went well for you and that after going through all the details in the first module that you have a really good understanding of what an ecosystem is. The topic for this module is going to be ecosystem health. So we're going to build on that definition that hopefully you've developed for yourself in, uh, in Module 1 and understand what makes an ecosystem healthy or maybe what stresses cause an ecosystem not to be healthy. So the first thing you guys are going to do this week is watch a, about a 20 minute TED talk about all the stresses that humans have put on natural ecosystems around the world. And then you're going to read two articles. They have a lot of detail in them, but at the core they're really good with their concepts of describing what makes a healthy ecosystem. This is kind of a hard thing to encapsulate because there's a lot of different uh, things that cause specific ecosystems to be healthy or unhealthy that are different than other ecosystems. So it would be really difficult to use the same set of rules to describe a healthy open ocean ecosystem as opposed to a desert ecosystem. Uh, you have some basic rules that are the same, but then you also have to have some innate differences because these are just vastly different uh, uh, areas of the world and they have different stresses and different components. So <clears throat> from that little uh, description there, hopefully you get an idea that assessing an ecosystem's health is not very simple because you can't use the exact same set of rules uh, for all the ecosystems. So built into these articles is going to be two concepts that you're going to start with this week and are going to be included in many other weeks throughout the quarter. And the first one is resilience. So as you read resilience, that word, in a few different articles, and then you'll actually read a, um, a link that gives you a definition of resilience and describes it directly, you'll need to come up with a really good working definition of resilience for yourself and make sure that you understand the concept of resilience and why we apply it to ecosystem health. And that will be an important piece here. Why is resilience used as one of the key components of assessing ecosystem health? The other concept and major concept that this class will, will have throughout all the modules, but you will be introduced to it here, is ecosystem services. Now this is a very broad topic with, once again, kind of some odd ways to define it. Odd in the sense that uh, for each ecosystem, uh, the services that are provided by that ecosystem can be vast and varying. but. At its core, ecosystem services is a term designed by humans, so these are the things that humans have defined as the services these ecosystems do, mainly for humans. Not always, but mainly for humans. So with that little introduction, that wasn't a perfect definition of ecosystem services, but it's just kind of an introduction to what this term means, you'll need to take that and then focus on that term everywhere you see it throughout the readings this week, because during this week is where you're going to build the basis for your understanding of what ecosystem services means. You're going to use ecosystem services in a big way on your quarter-long project, and you're also going to see uh, ecosystem services listed out uh, in many different readings and videos that you watch throughout this quarter. So this is a key concept for this course. And this is the first time you're going to be introduced to it uh, with definitions and descriptions in the readings. So one thing that I wanted to point out in this video about ecosystem services is there's four main categories of ecosystem services, but these are not to be confused with the specific ecosystem services that each ecosystem provides. So keep that in mind as you read through. Read the four categories, know the four categories, but then also be able to uh, when somebody talks about an ecosystem, be able to identify what some services that that ecosystem would provide to humans, not the categories, the specific services. So for example, uh, the open ocean, one of the services it provides is food in the form of fish. Um, some ecosystems don't provide that, other ones do. So there'll be a specific service, but that's, food is not a service category, that's a specific service. So hopefully you can use that uh, little introduction description that I've just given you there to really organize this in your head as you're reading through about ecosystem services. What's the definition of them? What are the categories? How do we apply them to different ecosystems? And then essentially you need to keep building uh, that in your mind so you can really be able to describe 
why do we use ecosystem services as a term and why are they important when we assess ecosystems? That's going to be the key concept for your quarter long project. So good luck this week. Remember, focus on resilience and ecosystem services and uh, those concepts will be used throughout the quarter.